Hey guys, it's AK Gaming here with a very special video. Uh, today I'm going to be building my ultimate PC. Um, I just want to apologize right off the bat. This will not be a very good uh, video recording because it'll be I'll be like, right, I'm going to put this in now, and then I'll just pause the video and put it in, and then show you as much as I can. But because I'm doing it by myself, I will have to pause the video a lot to install stuff. Um, if you've already seen all of my unboxing videos, then you'll know what's in this. If not, then I'll just tell you right now. I'm going to be putting in a GTX 6, uh, 770, sorry, which is a 4GB version from Pallet. I'm going to be putting in a motherboard, which is from MSI, which is the 990FXA, I think it's called. I'm also using the Graphite uh, 600T from Corsair, which is the case right here. Um, this is just a power pack that's from, uh, don't know what it's called anymore, but it's it's a, just a cheap one, ah, there it is, it's uh, Alpine, Alpine, 750 watt Alpine, uh, it's just my cheap one I got from my other one, which I'll be using for now until I can afford a Corsair one, I can't afford one at the moment. Um, am I missing it? Yeah, I'm just putting in a 3 terabyte Western Digital green hard drive as well, which I will also be putting in a uh, 500 gig hard drive from Hitachi for now, because which is here, which at the moment, because it has um, my Steam saves on it, so I need to transfer them from that to my 3 terabyte. So, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and start the build. First thing first, I'm going to put in the power pack, which I can put in right here now for you. Uh, but putting the screws in, I will pause uh, so you don't see how to put the screws in. But the screws are pretty standard, you can put screws in. Uh, I'm going to choose to put it upside down, which is the fan facing downwards, because I do have the dust area you know, with the dust filter and stuff at the bottom there, which is fine. Uh, what I didn't mention in my unboxing was this bit here is movable. You can take these two screws out and it will move. I have not already adjusted it, so I will adjust it once I've put it in. So here it is. So I'll just go ahead and pop this in now. And then that's it. That's all you do with that. You just pop it in like that. And I'll be moving that to around about as far as it can go pretty much because it's a really small one. So uh, when, you come, when I come back in a second, these cables will be through here. And uh, the screws will be popped in in the back. So, back in a second. And boom! Just like that, it's in. Uh, not moved this actually yet, because I just forgot about it. Actually, just reminded me just now. So I'll get that done for the next pause. So, the next thing we're going to be putting in is the uh, motherboard, which will be going right here, obviously. And then, uh, so, uh, let me just grab the motherboard here. It's just on the side. I need to move my tools out of the way. And the hard drive. Here is the motherboard. I'm going to bring it around. Bring! Look at that. Now that. There's the motherboard that is humongous, rather big. So yeah, so let's go ahead. Actually, uh, on the motherboard, first of all, I'm going to just put in the processor. So uh, I'm just going to pause the video real quick, put that on, and grab the processor, because the processor is just over there. So back in a second again. Okay, and we're back again. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just put the processor in. And then put my two sticks of RAM in, which, by the way, is Vengeance Corsair ones. Two sticks of four gigabytes. Didn't want to go 16, could not be bothered. I already had eight, so I was like, what's the point of forking out my extra money for something I probably won't be using? So, uh, if you've never installed a processor and you're watching this video to find out and how to do something, it's very simple. Let me zoom in as far as I can so we see that. Will it focus? Yes. You see, right in that corner there, let me get a bit closer to the focus again. Not too far. Hang on. See that little triangle? Right here. Look, right there. You see that? It's very difficult to see, but that very small triangle right there has to be lined up with the processor's triangle. So in my case, the processor needs to go that way around. So I'll just pick it up. Straight out. Straight in, and that should be it. If you get it in the right place, that is. There we go, and as you can see, it's in, and I don't have to do anything, and then I just lock it down. There we go. Now, this motherboard now has an AMD FX8350. Next thing I'm going to do is install the uh, RAM, 
which I will have to check the manual book actually because sometimes it's these two and sometimes it's not them two, sometimes it's these two for dual channel. I want dual channel because it's much better. So I will be back in a minute and I will just check that out and also put on the thermal paste. So I'll be back in a second. Okay, hello once again. So here is my Corsair Vengeance, as you can see right there though. Before I start, there is my thermal paste. I've done the star method. Um, I like that method. Seems to do alright. So, um, I'm not using the AMD stuff. Uh, main reason, because I don't like it compared to this stuff. And also because I've actually tried this once already using that uh, graphics card. And the actual thing is uh, no good. Didn't work at all because of the simple fact that um, the motherboard was a, a fail. It broke. So I could not use the actual uh, stuff anyway. So even if I had used it, I would have wiped it off to get it back. So installing RAM is real simple. All it does is it just goes in like that and then you press it down to clip it, which I will do in just a second because I can't really do it one handed because doing it one handed is quite difficult to do. So there's the arm. So I'll be back in a second with them clipped in. So there you go. As you can see, there's not much difference but they're now clipped in. So I'll be putting my graphics card in here, and I'll be putting my motherboard in first though. So next thing I'm gonna do is get the IO plate and pop that in. So I'm just gonna get it, take it out of the bag, and show you how you put the IO plate into a computer. Okay, so here we go. Here is my IO plate. It's very nice. So um, on the cheaper ones I've had actually, uh, when it focuses, Nope, because it's too bright. It's grey, as you can see, just at the bottom of that one. You can see it's grey, not silver, because it's actually got a coating, which is nice, because it's not a cheap one. Okay, so the way you do it is you just place it in place like that, and with your hand at the back, which you can see quite clearly there, hopefully. Uh, all you do is you put your fingers on it, and you push against it until it clips. Once it clips, it clicks even. Sometimes it can be quite difficult to get into. So I will just keep pushing. Oh wait, 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 it's close. Uh, be careful of fan cables and stuff like that. Uh, sorry, I'm dropping down. Um, cause that's why I could not just attach mine, because there is a fan cable in the way. That is really annoying me now. I'm going to have to move that fan cable real quick. Push that through there. Get it from the other side, and hopefully now I might just be able to get this in. So I plate. Nope, once again, okay, I'm going to have to pause the video uh, real quick, and then you'll be able to see the I.O. plate installed. Boom, there it is, I.O. plate installed. Nice. As you can see, if I press it a little bit, it's still in there, so it's not going to come out easy, which is good, good, and good. So, now that that is installed, now all the next thing to do is to get the actual motherboard placed inside. So I'm just going to quickly attach the fan to it, and then pop that in. So... Um, switch it around for you, but I won't be able to show you like any of it. I'm going to tip it down and put it in, and then I'll show you when it's in, and then put the screws in, and then show you again. I love them. These bits here, they're amazing, because my old case didn't have anything to do with this. So, right, I'm going to install that, and then uh, you can see it in just a minute. So, back in a second again. Okay, so here's a little quick look of what it is. There's the motherboard in. I have not put the screws in yet, like I said. There's the fan. Installed onto it now, so it's coming together nicely. Um, so yeah, so right here on the side, you got your fan port here. Uh, two fan ports, actually. That's not three fan ports. Oh, that's nice. Nice being able to have three fan ports. That's good because it's got plenty of fans in this thing. And then I'll go your ports at the back. I mean the bottom even and stuff like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop all the screws in for this now, and then we'll be back in a minute to be able to put the. Uh, graphics card in, so back in the sack. Okay, and we're back, all the screws are in now. I've also removed the two places for the graphics card. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually take out the graphics card out of here and place it inside the system. I'll see if I can do it for you right here, right now. First thing I'm going to do is remove these nice little covers. Uh, they're nice and everything that keeps it protected and stuff, but I don't want it inside my system, just in case it happens to melt off and goes in the system or anything like that. Nothing terrible like that would be we want happening in an expensive build like this. So I think that's all of them, so let's go ahead and pick it up now. There we go. 
I'm not going to really do this one handed very well. Let me see if I can do this well. No, right, I'll just be back in a second when I've installed the GTX 770. Okay, so the graphics card's now installed, plus three of the SATA cables are in. They were, they looked rather difficult to do without doing it before the graphics card was in, so I put them in, and then pop the graphics card in. Now what I'm going to do is now safely secure the graphics card by putting in both of the, the uh, screws I removed beforehand. Do do do. I just go nice and easily into there. I'm going to switch hands, I can also now move it to there for you. Screw it in a little bit more, nice and tightly, so it never ever comes out. There we go. Nice and tight, nice. Now we have the graphics card installed. Right next is to put the disk drive, my one disk drive, and my two hard drives. And then, yeah. I think that'll be it, apart from the power cables need moving to the right locations. So, uh, I'll be back in a second when... Actually, I'll just do the hard drive. I'll do one of them right now. So, we just take this hot swap out. Ooh, 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 there's the hot swap. And then it's real simple to go in. I just give some this. I mean, it's more difficult doing it one-handed. Um, I'm trying to go this way. It doesn't fit the other way. Up. And then we end up there. Right. See that little thing there has to go in that hole. Like that. Oh, this has been a real pain in the butt. Alright, pain in the butt over. I got it in. <laughs> Took me a few seconds to get that in, but there we go. Alright, and then that just goes inside the case. You can see it like that. And then clip, that's in. That will come out now. So that's that. So I now get the other one put in and the disk drive, so I'll be back in a second. Okay. Uh, so as you can see, I've got my Western Digital, my 500 gig, and my disk drive installed with my power pack, which is securely locked in. My Palette GTX 770 with the AMD FX8350 all attached in. Now all I need to do is change it from this. To this. Oh, there we go. Leg in the way. So as you can see, the cable management management on this case is unbelievable. The only cables you can see are the audio one, the one for the graphics card, which to be fair I could have put through there and it'd probably be a bit shorter actually, which I will change just in a minute. A little bit of that cable, a bit there and a bit there and that's it. That's small little tiny bits of cable. Next to nothing. There's no cables for the hard drives you can see. There's no extra cables that you don't use if you've got a case if you've got a power pack like mine. So this is just unbelievable. I'm very happy with how this looks. So what I'm gonna do is move that cable, put it back a bit so you can see better, turn it on and let's see what this thing looks like when I turn it on. Alright, turns out the cable was not long enough to put in that location. So I've left it where it is, everything is hooked up, or at least so I know of. So let's go ahead and press this power button right here. And everything boots up. Look at the LEDs on the fans. So you see the massive fan here? Let's turn it down. Nope. So you can see again with this one. Okay, so thanks for watching, guys. I mean, this has been fantastic. I have um, thoroughly enjoyed building this. Uh, I'm going to thoroughly enjoy putting everything onto this and uh, gaming the heck out of it. Um, I am... Um... Wow. Uh, at the end of this video here, I'm going to do... Uh, what I'm going to say now is special thanks to my mum. Um, if it wasn't for my mum, I would not be having these parts right here. So, I want to say thank you, mum. 
uh, and that's pretty much it. I want to also kind of say thank you to my friends, because if it wasn't for them, I probably would never have decided to build a computer like this, so uh, thanks to those guys. Um, so yeah, I'm thoroughly enjoying liking this. Thoroughly enjoy this. This is a nice machine. Um, just notice now the power button actually has a little white light, which is nice. Look at that. So that's fantastic. So there it is. Um, I'm going to give you a quick video after this where it'll be me moving the camera all around it and some pictures of Windows 7 booted up and me installing stuff afterwards. But this is the end of building it, so that's it. I'm not going to do anything else to it now, now that I know of. Uh, RAM's in, everything's in. That's just it, that's it. I'm done now. So thanks for watching, guys. It's probably been about half an hour or an hour to build this. I've only seen 15 minutes of, mi of actual video now, nearly 16. So I want to thank you guys for watching. Um, I love you all. Uh, please comment on it, even if it's, if it's, if it's negative, then please keep it to yourself, because... Uh, I'm just going to delete it, uh, but if you want to say anything positive at all, or anything you want to say about this, then go ahead, or anything you want to know, that's fine, I'll find out, or I will tell you if I already do know. So thanks for watching, guys. Um, uh, my name is Ezek Gamer. I don't know really why I said that again, to be honest with you, but still, uh, thanks for watching my uh, ultimate build rig kind of thing. Um, hope to see you again sometime. Thanks for watching, guys. Okay guys, um, this is just a bit of an extra, pretty much, on my build, uh, because um, the first thing you'll notice is the GS800 Corsair is now here instead of my other power pack, because my other power pack would not power this. Um, uh, I tried it to power it and it wouldn't. Um, I had one to go in here, I didn't have one to go in the motherboard right here, or up here and I didn't have the second one here so none of it would work I mean the fan on the bottom of this these all turned on everything turned on but the system wouldn't boot up even to the BIOS so what I've done is I've gone out and bought a Corsair GS800 you can check out my unboxing uh, I've just basically just done it now uh, so now what I'm gonna do is just show you it installed um, I have actually taken out a piece of RAM because I tried to use my other computer but that one only takes 4 gig at the moment, so I had to take out some RAM so I could use it because I'm using the old stuff in my old computer. So I'll just quickly put in the RAM back in, and then I will go ahead and show you what it looks like when I've put all the brand new braided cables from Corsair into the motherboard. I'll try to get it as nice and neat as possible, but uh, there's going to be cables coming from here, going all the way down here to this one because there's nowhere else I can really lead them from. I could probably leave them from the top, actually, to be honest with you, right the way up there, because there's a little tiny hole with it where this, this side fan comes from, so I think I might try that. Um, but then again, there is two coming out. But, and then, of course, I've got a power cable coming from one of these, either this one or this one, to go into here. I'm not sure which what side I'm going to go from at the moment, probably the top one. So I'll go ahead and power them out, put all the powers in, and then we'll see what it looks like then. So, this is now to this. So, um, I mean, the difference is not massive because luckily the cable system must be fine, but I have two of the cables here, the PCIe cables in here, I have the uh, main ATX cable here, I have uh, a PCIe cable here, and I also have the motherboard's power cable there as well. Um, there is a SATA cable here and then two SATA cables down here for my two hard drives I'm going to be running at the start. So, and there's also one ID, one at the back, the control, the, the fan controller. So let's go ahead and uh, turn it on and see if everything works or if uh, not. Helps when you turn it on at the mains. Let's try again. And there we go. Okay. So that was quite loud to start off with. Uh, it is blue right now, so I'll just switch through the colors. There's the white, there's the red, and that will no color at all. That's nice. I might try it with no color, but that's blue, so which is what I want. So there we go, as you can see the system is now all booted up. Uh, we'll go plug it in, and oh, I need to turn it off. I I'm going to miss some action of the uh, boot up. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this into my TV now, and uh, as promised, there will be pictures of the system fully built, and pictures of Windows 7 being installed, so just to show you guys that I can, uh, not that I can build one, I mean, I know I can. 
just to show you the fact that how easy it is to build, uh, even with a snag. Um, as long as you do all your proper information, like I did not do, then you'll be able to do it. Like if you make sure you read up on what power cables you need for your motherboard and graphics card, then you'll be all right. Well, I, I didn't do that. So, right. Thanks for watching, guys. This this is the end now. Huh. This is the end, so I want to say thank you for watching, like I did before. I'm not going to say it all again, because I've already said it once. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Comment, rate, subscribe.